Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this edition of Programming Users. Today we shall look at how to uh, use a timer and a progress bar of which uh, we shall be tackling how to start, okay? How to start, how to stop, how to resume and how to reset a timer and a progress bar. Now guys, this is what I'm talking about. As you can see, uh, this is a progress bar we are displaying percentage. If I click stop, uh, the progress bar and the percentage uh, they, st they get stopped. Okay. Now if I come and click resume, it resumes. If I click stop, stops, resumes. Okay. Then once it reaches a hundred, I can reset. Okay. Then I can start again, stop, uh, reset. Okay. So guys, uh, this is what we are going to look at. Uh, so please, uh, welcome. Uh, we get started. So first and foremost, uh, you shall need to design your form. I've already designed mine. Let me stop this one. Okay. Now, uh, this one, this is just a simple uh, label. Okay. Uh, I've just given it uh, this color. It's a label 0, 0.0. No, this label, I've called it percent uh, TXT. It is what shall be displaying our percentage. Then here you have another label. And then uh, this label uh, called loading modules. Now the next thing I have three buttons the start stop and reset okay start button stop button and reset button and here we have our progress bar you can just drag them from the toolbox okay so uh, please design your form uh, we continue so another thing that we shall need we shall need a timer so uh, just drag a timer from your toolbox and have it there now after that one uh, double click your timer it shall take you to the timer take event okay now the timer tick event uh, is what shall be called uh, at each tick of the timer okay so the first thing that we're going to do uh, in our start button in fact uh, just right here on top uh, here is a global variable uh, let's declare of uh, integer and assign it to zero so it is this integer that we shall be incrementing uh, with each tick of the timer okay now the next thing uh, in your timer tick event uh, let's come here and the first thing that we shall do is that we shall increment our progress our integer the progress so to do that one just say our uh, progress plus equal to zero okay the after that one uh, we shall use an if else statement uh, to check whether it has reached a hundred yeah of course uh, if it reaches a hundred we shall want to stop automatically so say if progress is greater than uh, or equal to a hundred okay now we shall first uh, disable the timer so say timer one dot enabled equal to false then uh, the next thing we shall want to stop the timer so say timer one dot stop now that uh, shall enable us to start uh, to stop the timer by the way guys uh, we have another tutorial about uh, splash screens okay so you can also check it out uh, we've just implemented the same same things now if this is not the case if it is not the case that it has reached a hundred then we shall uh, continue uh, incrementing our progress okay and updating the progress uh progress by value the progress by mean so say uh progress by one dot value then we set it uh, to the progress equal to progress okay another thing that we we'll want to do is to uh, update our percentage label so just come and say a uh, percent my label was known as percent 60 dot text uh, equal to uh, progress which is our integer then we shall convert it to string because we want to display it uh, in a label after that one uh, come uh, click uh, each of these three buttons starting with the start button now inside our start button uh, we shall want to uh, enable our timer okay and then uh, set uh, the interval for our progress bar sorry so uh we come and enable our timer now say timer one 
uh, dot enabled we set it to true then uh, another thing timer uh, no uh, yeah time timer one dot interval okay we want to set uh, the interval now our interval my interval shall be 50 uh, after setting our interval we come also to the stop button okay now it is that the stop button uh, that we shall be uh, stopping our progress bar our, so our time I mean stop so just say timer one I do stop timer one do stop that shall be uh, able to uh, stop our progress bar our our time I mean but remember we also want to uh, set uh, the button according to like for instance uh, if it is if the user has stopped we will not be starting we shall be resuming okay so we want also to update uh, the update the button txt update the button txt so to do that one uh, just uh, first of all we shall check the value of the progress now if the user has clicked the stop button okay and the progress is between 0 and 100 if progress uh, is greater than 0 okay and remember this is something that we shall call when the user presses the stop button and progress is less than 100 if this is the case then uh, we shall set our start button to be resume start button dot text we shall set its text to resume instead of start okay now that is how we achieve our resume and this one uh, this coach piece of course shall be called uh, in the stop button now uh, in the reset button actually it's just a matter of uh, resetting things the first thing that we want to reset is the progress our progress we shall reset it back to zero uh, the next thing that we'll need to reset is the progress uh, value progress bar value no progress bar one dot value equal to zero uh, the next thing we want to reset is the percent uh, txt dot text equal to zero dot zero sorry this is a text so uh, we will have over there sorry I'm typing my own stuff without any help from the intelligence so 0, uh, 0. ok ok and now just to make it a little bit better uh, inside this one we'll, I'll just uh, add uh, this one over here so it will be uh, the progress okay after converting it to string point zero zero percent okay now guys that's it uh, we shall now run our program and see so as you can see here is our program okay when I click start button I know it seems we have a problem let's check <laughs> look at this one uh, that the progress is zero okay and that I'm expecting a result so change this one to one uh, I'll continue now if I run it uh, I expect it now to be to work okay so guys if I come now and click the start button okay you can see stuff updating uh, very nicely right here okay now if I click stop uh, the progress stops the percent stops okay if I click resume it resumes if I click reset it resets okay so guys hope you've learned something please if you have uh, subscribe to this channel you will continue receiving tutorial like these ones like our videos comment on our videos share these videos with friends and take care i'll see you next time